Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. Joe, at RT.ie, yes, yes. a dog story and a cat story. Geraldine McNamara in Tipperary. Geraldine, good afternoon. Hello, Joe. How are you? Good. Thanks what? for taking my call. Uh, and thanks for making the call. What happened? Uh, last Tuesday evening, I was sitting in my sitting room when I heard my own dog going mad barking. Mm-hmm. And I went out to the gate and a tree down a little bit across the road from me, there was two young lads with two greyhounds at the base of the tree. Right. So because of past experience, I said there's something going wrong here. So I walked out as far as the corner, and when they saw me then, they started to run away. But they started looking back at the tree and stopping. So next thing, a third young lad jumped out of the tree. He had actually been up the tree Uh trying to hunt the cat down so that the two greyhounds could kill it. Oh, my God. How do you know that? Because the cat was still up in the tree. But how do you know they wanted to kill the cat? Because that's what they have done previously. And they weren't bringing it down to pet it and two greyhounds that are trained to kill below at the base. And... And why are they... Why, well, then why would they want to kill a cat? Because that's what they do. It seems to be acceptable to some people that it's OK to kill cats. The fact that they're family pets doesn't matter. They just get it, They think it's a sport. They don't see the hurt that comes through me or the suffering that the animal goes through. Now, after that happened, yeah. on Wednesday night, I went to bed about half past ten and my cat was there. But you can't keep cats confined 24-7. Yeah, I know some yeah, people do. Yeah. I find it very difficult. But at half past six Thursday morning, excuse me, the same cat was there and the cat was badly injured. Wow. Um, his leg was like it had the skin had been peeled back okay. off of it okay. and there was injury to the muscle. So by half past days, I had him got to the vet and the vet tried, thought he could do, you know, save yeah. him. But now they did operate on him on the Thursday and do the surgery and everything else. But the cat succumbed to the injury. She died from it. And now, do, you reckon, do you reckon your cat, what was your cat's name, by the way? Pi. Pi. Do you reckon Pi? the life of Pi. The life of Pi, OK. Well, a short life, unfortunately. Would yeah, you think your, your cat, Pi, was killed by the greyhounds? Yes. Oh, there's do? only yes, there's only a same family in the area, or a same person, or two at the very most. But there's one person in particular that has these greyhounds, and they don't mind if the young fellas take them out, and if they accept it to be killed. Yeah, but that they, to are, kill. but Charlie, are they blooding the greyhounds? Are they training them for yes. hair coursing or something? They're training them to go out in the fields and kill the rabbits by night or anything else that they want to kill. You know, yeah, but and yeah, whatever about killing a rabbit, a rabbit is or a hare is pretty, pretty um, yes, uh, harm, but harmless. But if you if is. you had a go with a cat, now there's a chance the cat might scratch the dog, to say the least, to, to stay. There's himself. very little chance of that, Joe, because you see, when an animal is wild, it has a natural instinct to run away. When it, an animal is tame and has never been injured, okay. it hasn't got that natural instinct. It loses it. Unfortunately, because of kindness, you actually take away that natural instinct from your animal. So they suffer from it. And it's not the first experience I've had with having cats killed by dogs. But I've lost faith in the guards, in the dog warden and in the local council. Because on numerous occasions I have called when the Mm -hmm. same person that has the dogs would be running them at 12 o'clock at night and to see if there's any animals around that they will kill. And I've had no never success about it. I've complained before two and a half years ago when another of my cats, who a person went up, had witnessed being killed and children witnessed being killed by, I believe, to the same three youths with two dogs. And um, there was nothing done about it. The guards answered my call in the beginning, but I kept hounding and hounding them, and eventually they told me that the person that was over it had moved away, so there was never anything done about it. Okay. They said he was gone to another but area. S- but, Geraldine, you say you know who did, who owned the dogs. Yes, I know the person that comes out every night or every second night with the dogs running them. Oh, can, you not the- just, can you not check them and say, listen... No, because this person already has a criminal record. 
Okay, okay. They have killed a lot of cats and dogs in the estate across from me. My own a relation of mine who's 70 had his dog badly, badly injured in his own back way by those dogs and he was afraid to make a complaint about it because he's afraid that he, his windows will be put mm. in and everything. So you're not, a, you're not anti-dog? No, I have dogs of my own. Yeah. I love all animals, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love greyhounds. I love, you know, I love mm. all animals. But the dog should be kept as a pet. The rules with the council should follow their own rules. The council have rules that you're not, not supposed to have more than two dogs. The dogs are supposed to be microchipped. They're supposed to be licensed. And they're supposed to be kept under control at all times. There's a max of two dogs. I won't ask you where you are because we're, we're getting into difficulties there. But do, there's I'm in Tipperary. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, that, that, if that's that's okay. Kind of, that's why I did. No, it doesn't matter. Um, you oh, say it's two. It's a big count. There's two dogs. Yes. Uh, are, is the max any household is allowed? No, is that correct? Yes. Oh, but there's often... A... Yes. This and is how, the do they, how do they police that, Geraldine? Well, the council are supposed to be able to police their own tenants. And when p there's lots and lots of complaints put in against a person having 10 or 12 dogs, they're supposed to follow it up and ensure that okay. the person doesn't have 10 or 12 dogs. But your point is it's the, not been followed up. It's not been followed up. Yeah. And the dog warden, who's a very nice person, but I have asked him if he, when he goes to these people if he checks the dog to see are they microchipped and he doesn't. Hmm. Now, if they were checked to be microchipped and then that dog was out and did kill it, you know, if he's off a leash and kills, the dog can be traced back to the owner who is responsible. Right. But the rules haven't been followed. And because they're not being followed, people like me are considered to be a little bit crazy because you love animals and yeah, you're talking to Joe Duffy about it. No, lots of... You know? of and animals save lives in this country. A lot of people love animals. Absolutely yeah. love them. And they're well, great, the great companions and uh, uplifters. Yeah. Um, well, that's uh, where I am. And the animals' lives matter and they can't speak for themselves. OK, OK. So I'm just trying to highlight okay, how the yeah. suffering that they go through. Well, it's a terrific thing to do where we're all you know? such greyhounds. OK, yeah, Geraldine... Well, they do it and get away with it, you know. But, like, when you went to the guards... Previously, yes. Yeah. Did they say, listen, we can do something about it? Well, they had evidence, they had photographs of the previous cat. Not this one. I didn't even go this time because I felt there was nothing done. They had photographs of my buttons having been torn to pieces. They had a statement from a person who was too intimidated to sign the statement, but they had mm -hmm. made a statement. And yet there was nothing ever done. There d seems to be like a, that a cat owner seems to be a second-class citizen, but the cat is down the hierarchy of animals that are going to be cared for and that are prioritised as okay. saying this is horrific, it can't happen. Well, let's, let's it ask shouldn't be allowed to happen. OK, 51551 Joe at RT. You know Sheehan Sheen and Noel, good afternoon. Hello, Joe. Joe, I've just woken up from my nap. OK. I, I'm, I'm a nap <laughs> after one. And I just heard that lady ring in. And yes. it's so true. What you, you know, the recent controversy about the greyhound business. Now tell us, what, 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 what's your experience? I just want to tell you my story. Okay. When we were young for us, yeah. uh, in the late 50s, 60s, early 60s, uh, one, that we had w different ways of making money. Uh, we would collect jam jars and bring them down yeah. to a long, closed jam factory, penny for a pound pot, a halfpenny for a pound. Yeah, We'd no. collect blackberries and bring yeah. them down. But if we were really stuck for money, every terrace and street had hmm. a boxcar. Some young yeah. fellow okay. had a boxcar. Made of pram wheels and all. Yeah. But we would collect cats Believe it or not. Yeah, Paul, but, 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 Noel, where, yeah. bring the dogs into the story quickly. We would bring the cats down to a well-known GA family down in Black Rock, which mm. was the home of the coursing industry. Yeah. And the man down there would pay us five shillings per cat. To do what per, with, the, with the cat? Huh? To do what with the cat? They would tape the cat's paws, especially the front paws, what? and blood the hounds for the coursing and the greyhound industry. No, hang on, hang on. That is a true, absolutely true story. No, but no, but hang on. They tape the front paws of the cat. 
Yeah, because the cat would lash out with the paw. Yeah, but what would the cat do then? They'd throw, they, 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 they'd blood the hound, they'd give the cone. So they take the cat up by the tail and throw it to the greyhounds? Into the compound, to the dogs, you know. They, and the cat... And blood the hounds. And the that, cat and the cat couldn't run? Well, the cat couldn't fight back, let, let me put it that way, with, his, with his, its vicious claws. And I'm afraid now, as young fellows, we saw nothing wrong with it. And how long... I don't want to go into too much gory detail, but how long, Noel, did this... When they th- threw the cat, which you had got five shillings for... Yeah. They taped... The, first of all, they taped up his claws. What, was set of tape or masking tape or...? It was, it was a sort of a masking tape. OK. Uh, and yeah, insulated. I, I can't remember. No, to us, to us OK, so, so someone had grabbed the two legs of the cat, wrapped the tape around the one, two, three, four, cut the tape and then throw the cat into an enclosed compound, is that correct? With the greyhounds, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. How many greyhounds would be in there? There'd be two or three. And they would go for the cat? Uh, and Black Rock was... The north side was, was yeah. beagles and, 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 and drag hunt, but Black Rock was the... My knowledge of it was the home of the coursing industry. How long would the incident last before the cat would be oh, dead? the cat would be torn apart oh. relatively quickly. Well, a couple of no, minutes. No, no I, I, I'm not a cat lover by any stretch. Yeah, but you're not a cat killer, are you? Huh? You're not a cat killer. <laughs> I, but that, that, that is a true... I, I when know, the okay. thing blew up there about the, the, the greyhound industry... And no, 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 OK, you got... As you said, you got, you got a half a... Dollar for a, a, a penny for a jam jar. We used to, we, you got five shillings, two half crowns for a cat. But where did you get the cats? We 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 young fellows were devious. We'd go through the backs over the wall, and if there was a cat on the windowsill or a cat. Yeah, but you could be kidnapping or catnapping but someone. I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid no. We, we did it. And I paid for the pictures the following weekend no, no, no. of the Savoy. And the did anyone field. ever come round and say, Where's my cat gone? But that didn't trouble us, I'm afraid, as young fellas. Okay. Geraldine, what do you think of that? Noel has been I, very honest. I know Noel is telling the truth, and I really thank him for telling us, you know. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these young fellas that are doing this now will end up in jail later on, which I have seen previously. That if they're going to have be so dispassionate as to use the dogs to kill the cats for sport, which are family pets, they will carry on and do worse later on. But, you see, like Noel said, he couldn't have caught those cats if they were wild cats. They were trusting family pets who let them catch them. And that's how their paws got taped together, because they didn't let out of the human. You know, that it's just that the animal hasn't got the defence because they're, um, what you call it, the tame. And they don't know how to protect themselves. And unfortunately, I can't protect them 24-7, but I shouldn't have to. Do you know, at night time, I would be awake, and if there's any noise when the dogs are running or whatever, I would get up, turn on all my lights, and go out as far as my front gate so that that person could see that the lights were on and that he wasn't going coming down my way tonight to hunt my cats. Mm. But I can't stay awake every night. People have to sleep, and I hold down a full time job, so I have to work as well. And it is hard to be living like this. It's, um, you know, I've never heard, I've through. never heard, no, Noel. I'm sure, do you now, looking back on it, Noel, do you now say, do you now regret doing what you did with the oh, poor God, cat? I do, I I do, do but okay. as, a, as, a, as I, I say, no, I don't like, I, I, no. I, I'm a non cat person. I love dogs, love with the dogs with a passion. But uh, I do, of course I do. And, um, but uh, there's a sort of an underground industry mm. there connecting with, it's called blooding the hounds. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But why would you blood a hound on a cat? Why? Well, uh, I, I, we, we wouldn't... <laughs> It, it took a lot more older branch of people, or, or a much older group of men and young fellas to be able to, uh, that would have ferrets and would be able to flush out rabbits and all that mm. sort of stuff, go over the hill and back down into okay, the valley. Yeah, okay. um, but 
cats were easy prey. You 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 entice them, and I'm afraid we did it. And I, and, I don't and, know if you ask me, am I ashamed? But yeah. I am. And now I, but